Okay, guys, let me know if you guys can hear me well and see me well. Put something in the chat box. I did not get a chance to set this up today very well. Put something in the chat box, guys. Let me know if you guys can hear me well and see me well. All right, guys, very good. So with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, you guys could. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So, if you're joining us for the first time, thank you for joining our PMP study group. And tonight, uh, I will be answering your questions. So if you guys have a question, put it in the chat box, and I'll get around to answering it at some point tonight. Uh, also, uh, also, I'm going to be asking you guys about 10 questions coming up a little bit later. So, keep sticking around for that. And with that in mind, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. Let's get the chat going. So whatever I'm clicking on, you guys can see. All right, so what do we got? We got James Glover with a question. It says, Andrew, I passed my PMP a few months ago. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, James, I've seen you before. I'm checking in. Is there anything new from, say, six months ago that is new? on? No, nothing new. The exam has not changed in a while. So nothing new at all. For everyone listening, trust me, Andrew's system works. Thank you, James. Uh, go through the cracks. Take the simulator. And if you can pass by 80%, take the exam. Thank you, James. Yes. If you can get um, at least an 80% on the simulator, you're going to pass your exam. I pretty much guarantee that. So get the TIAexam.com, TIAexams.com to get the simulator on that. Last question. Would you consider making a new channel that keeps us certified, updated on new concepts? That's interesting. I don't know if it'll be a whole new channel, but maybe more of videos concerning people that have already passed. I don't think a whole new channel because building a whole channel is not easy. You know, right now we got 70,000 subscribers. That took three years to get. By the way, did you guys click on the like button? Don't forget to click on subscribe. It would be amazing. So we try to push those subscribers up. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers is the game. Yeah, I don't know if a whole new channel is needed. Hello, Andrew. Happy Tuesday. Well, happy Tuesday to you also. Julia, say, Andrew, thanks to your book. Thanks to your book and the mindset. I passed my PMP on June 21st. Congratulations on that. I'm super happy you were able to help you pass your exam. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? I hope so. With three above target, so that is a perfect score. Thank you. I wore blue. Guys, make sure you, you wear blue. The secret of passing. Don't ask. If you're sitting here tonight, why? Should, why? Don't worry about that. Just just do it. It's not superstition. There are some facts behind it. Just wear blue and you're going to pass your test. But you got to study also. So you got this. Celebrate it with some bourbon. It's horrible. Bourbon doesn't taste good. Don't don't drink bourbon. It'll, you know, it'll, it'll burn out your liver. You don't want that. All right, yes, you can see and hear me. All right, you guys said, uh, Andrew, your comments. I wouldn't even mention the name. No comments. I don't comment on other companies' products um, at all. I don't comment on anybody's training materials. Uh, first of all, I've never used it, so I can't comment on it. And the other products that I've seen, that I have used, some of them suck really badly. Uh, but I don't comment on stuff. It's not my place. That's you guys. Only you guys can say what's the best product out there. All right? Not me. Why? Because yeah, I'm not taking the PMP exam. You guys are. Uh, nice shirt. Hey, thank you for that. Be tough for a second. Yeah, yeah. That's... Hi, Andrew. I passed my PMP thanks to your mindset. Most of the questions were agile. If you're taking the PMP right now, you guys got to remember, most of the exam questions are agile-based. Upwards of 60 to 70% of the current PMP exam is agile-based. So make sure you study agile well. I celebrated with some chocolate cake. I wore blue and cheers. Congratulations on that. Seems like you celebrated well. You wore the lucky shirt. And you passed your exam. So absolutely, congratulations on that. Hey, once again, I'm super happy that 
my materials, the mindset, I figured you got that out of this, the book or you got that out of the e-learning class, was able to help you pass. So congratulations on that. Welcome to the world of PMP. By the way, you guys, uh, if you're not following me on LinkedIn, follow me on LinkedIn. Just go to LinkedIn, type my name. I'm not a very hard person to find. Sometimes I post some interesting content there. Subscribe to the channel, by the way, guys. Uh, I do a lot of YouTube shorts if you haven't been seeing those. Hey, Andrew, I appreciate all that you do. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. All right. Hey, Andrew, great news. All right, let's see what that great news is. I passed my PMP on 25th of June, a few days ago, with three above target. The mindset was the key and the easiest approach was and the easiest approach answering the question. The mindset is the key to passing your exam. If you know the mindset, you're going to pass your exam. So what I tell people to do Go out, learn the mindset, know it well, and you're going to pass your exam. So congratulations on that. How do you get the mindset? Well, if you get the if you get the e-learning course, you do my live class. I'm teaching a live class in two weeks, by the way. If you want to take a live class with me, uh, go to tiapmmastermind.com. Sign up for a live class there. So join me in a live class if you want. I'll give it through the mindset. Also, the exam simulator will get you in there. Did you celebrate well, by the way? You passed three above targets. That's a perfect score. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Let me know. Come on, you guys got to live out. You know I'm going to ask you at all, all times. I'm always going to ask you. I passed my PMP today. I'm in. Maybe you're drinking a couple of beers right now. Or you're eating a piece of cake at least, I hope. Uh, with two above target, thank you for your Demi course in the book that I read too. Congratulations on that. Lots of questions about the Agile Mindset and a few calculations. Few? Hmm. What is few? A lot of people have been telling me that they had one PERT formula question. Did you have more than one PERT formula? What do you mean by a few calculations? I mean, it would be amazing if you can put in the chat uh, what they were. Don't give away the question because PMI is going to get upset. But what I want you to do is tell me what formulas did you need to know. Did you need to know PERT? EBM, what question did you need to know? Congratulations, Ahmed. Hopefully, you're celebrating right now. Hopefully, you're sober enough to write that for us. Congratulations on that. Um, I went over the simulator a few times, and the exam seemed pretty easy. I felt almost all questions were hybrid or agile. Thank you for your course, and especially these weekly classes. Yes, I'm hoping you guys are gaining some value from these things. Hopefully, it's keeping you guys motivated in order to go out and take your exam. You know, there's a lot of us that may not have that motivation or sometimes we're studying and we don't feel we can do it. Sometimes we are studying and you don't see that light at the end of the tunnel. But if you're here tonight, you can see how many people have gone through that process and you can do it too. All right. If you're finding it difficult to study, keep in mind, there's a lot of people just like you that felt difficult or felt it was difficult. You got this. Um, so thank you for this. Uh, hey, Andrew, I got your ITIL 4 foundation for need to know if your 6 are good enough for the ITIL. Yes, it is. Go through. If you have my ITIL 4 class, not just the one on Udemy, but I have one on TIAPMtraining.com. Okay? TIAPMtraining.com comes with the exam vouchers. Buying my ITIL course is actually cheaper than buying the ITIL voucher by itself. No joke. All right, so go check that out. And you get this six mock exam. It's more than enough. My video training, I think, is pretty cool on that. You got this. Uh, all right. On my first attempt of the TI mock, I got 70 on my second seven. I'm writing the exam tomorrow. Is it okay to sit for the exam? Yes, it is. I review the mindset before bed. Review it right before you take the exam. Keep in mind, as you're going through that test tomorrow, don't first of all, don't reschedule. If you're going through that test tomorrow, know the mindset, know it well. And when you're going through the test, answer the question, stick with the mindset no matter what the scenario says, and you're going to be just fine. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP in 2021. Congratulations on that. All thanks to you, and I'm grooming other PMP aspirants based on your mindset. All right, very good. I'm super happy I was able to help you pass and your fellow folks. Uh, all right, so congratulations. Did you celebrate well three years ago? 
How much is the ITIP 4 Foundation prep course? I'm not sure the price. TIAPMtraining.com. TIAPM, like project management training.com, has my ITIL course on there. Hello, Andrew. Thank you so much. I passed my PMP on June 24th. Very good. Uh, Udemy course and simulator did the work for me. So, guys, get the simulator, get the Udemy course. Um, POV. I don't know what that means. Point of view. I watch your, YouTube, your live videos from 2021, read your book in the mindset. Okay. Congratulations on passing. Welcome to the world of PMP. I'm super happy. Hey, you know what? The Udemy course and the simulator allowed you to pass your exam. The question, though, Joy, did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Come on, Joy. You got to tell us how you celebrated. We're very interested. At least I am. Pretty interested to know how you celebrate it. I'm always interested to know how people celebrate. Some say, well, why? Because it tells me how hard you work. If you didn't do much celebration, then you didn't work too hard. I want to know how much effort was put in there. Joy, congratulations on that. Maybe, you, maybe you're celebrating right now. It was only a couple of days ago. Acquired Target. I'm seeing a lot of job ads for Project Manager, but there are mentions, but there are... But there a of okay mentions of coordinating things, things meetings, billing things that look like admin stuff. Am I reading them wrong? No, a project manager has a holistic. So if you look at the Pembach Seventh Edition, one of the principles is this holistic view. Having a holistic view of project work that includes the financial aspect, the scope aspect, the schedule aspect people aspect like meetings. So what's wrong with you, man? Project managers are responsible for the entire project. You are the coordinator. You know, when I taught the course, I told you guys, the most important knowledge area for the project managers, if you looked at the 10 knowledge areas in the, in the Pemba Guide 6 edition, you know, what's the most important of those knowledge areas? It wasn't scope, time, cost, schedule, uh, quality, resources, risk, procurement, communication, stakeholders. It was none of that. It was integration. And integration represented all the other knowledge areas. So when I say, what's the most important section of a project? It's all. Yes or no, guys? Put in the chat box if you guys agree with me. So no, you're not reading that wrong. Joy continues to say, the mindset was golden. I also wore blue from head to toe. <laughs> you're a blue shoe. A blue and a blue table for my PC. Damn, Joy, you really like that blue. <laughs> Congratulations on that. You see, Joy, they don't know, Joy. They don't know. This is why you scored a perfect score, a perfect, you know, you passed your exam doing well because you wore that blue. People don't understand that. Guys, if you guys are taking your exam, you know, join Team Blue. All right. Hi, Andrew. I'm currently taking the online course. I'm reading your book, okay? I've been reading the exam is getting the more agile focus. Yes, it is. Can I study agile? Yes, you could. If you're doing the online course, you know, maybe you want to finish it on and then go back because it doesn't really like sync up like that. There's no like scope agile section versus uh, there's really like no scope agile section and then scope traditional section. So maybe you just want to finish it all. Hey, Andrew, great news. I passed my PMP on the 10th of May. Congratulations on that. Got above target. Congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Let me know in the chat box. Put it in the chat box. How did you celebrate? So congratulations on that. Super happy once again, you know, we're able to have you guys pass. Just said I had one PERT formula. All right. Very good. One PERT formula. Ahmed says, I had a question about CPI, SVI, SV, about four or five questions. Mm -hmm. Take note. If you're here tonight, take note. Somebody just had questions on CPI, SPI, four or five questions on EVM. Wow. That's news to me. No one has had EVM. Now, are these, Ahmed, let me ask you a question. Is it, did you have to do calculations or did you have to just know the meaning of CPI and SPI. 
if you did have the calculations that you had to memorize the formula, please let us know. I think a lot of folks would like to know that. Ahmed, thank you for letting us know. And, you know, I've always told you guys, I've always told you, know your EVM formulas. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you don't need to know EVM formulas. You do. Know it for your exam. All right? I teach it in the course. I teach it in the book. Just know it. You never know if you're going to get a question on it. Know it. Hey, Andrew. Hello. I passed my uh, PMP today. Oh, congratulations. I wore a blue shirt just in case. That's why you passed, man. What's wrong with you, man? Not just in case. Congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Because if you if you didn't, you're not celebrating well. Put it in the chat box. Let me know how you celebrated. And I'm super happy the blue shirt, not me, the blue shirt was able to help you pass the test. Congratulations on that. All right, I passed the PMP exam on June 22nd at three above target. Congratulations. Did you celebrate well? That's what I want to know. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Hubby took me out to dinner. Okay, very good. That sounds good. Did you drink a couple of beers? I wore blue and my husband wore blue. <laughs> I love that. The whole family is now uh, on the blue on the blue side. Have a phone interview on Friday. I'm looking at studying for ITIL now. Uh, I will check out your course. Yeah, TIAPMtraining.com for my e-learning class. If you want to take a live class, TIAEDU.com has live training. Uh, congratulations on that, Riley. And you know what? I'm super happy that the whole family is getting in on the blue concept and everybody's celebrating. That's how you guys should be doing this. You know, you guys got to remember something. Passing the PMP exam is not a single person effort. It's not you that's just putting in the time and effort to study. It's the people around you guys, your husband, your wife, your children, your mother, your father, your dog and your cat. It's everybody around you that has to give you and support you when studying. So when you guys have passed your exam, just don't do nothing and celebrate by yourself. Take everybody out. Make sure to take out the dog too. That's the most important person you got to take out. Maybe even the cat. All right, so keep that in mind. Congratulations, Riley. I'm super happy I was able to help you pass your exam. And good luck on your phone interview, will you? All right? Hopefully you're going to... Use the PMP, and when you get the PMP, when you get your PMP, you want to make sure that you utilize the skills that, would, that you were to learn, build your confidence that you can now apply for this job, and feel good that you're certified, and hopefully you can apply that. All right. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP yesterday with all the three above targets. Congratulations on that. The credit goes to you. No, what well, credit goes to me. You're the one that did the work. Congratulations on that. You know what I did while you were doing the work, uh, Singh? I don't even want to try to pronounce your first name. Uh, you know what I was doing? Nothing. I don't even know you. But you know what? You know me, and you passed your exam, so congratulations on that. Super amazing course in Udemy. I wore blue hat carrot cake. Thank you. Th you know what? Take the credit. You deserve it. You put in the time. You put in the effort. And you passed your exam, so congratulations. And it seems like you celebrated well. Did you, did you get a couple of beers? How about some Coke? Congratulations on passing that exam thing. I am super happy. I was able to help you pass. Andrew, cost management is tough. Can't remember all the formula. First of all, it is not tough. And yes, you could memorize it. I don't want to hear. Don't, you know, if you're physically incapable of doing something, that's when you would say, I can't do this. Okay, but you can do it. Unless you are physically disabled. Like, I have some... I have some physical disabilities where I am physically incapable of doing certain things. Uh, maybe one day I'll make a video on it, tell you guys what that's about. But there's nothing that you are mentally, in, mentally incapable of doing. I can't remember. Yes, you can remember. You have to do it over and over. You have to keep applying those concepts. Do the practice questions. Watch the videos at the end. In the cost management section, I give you tips on how to memorize those formulas. They're not hard to memorize. See how to apply them. You know, if you have the book, I give you scenarios. Do those scenarios. Do them not once. Do them three times. Know your formulas. They're not that difficult. And don't say something you can't do. You can do this. Don't you know, put yourself down now. Come on now. You got this. Joy, yes, Andrew, I had a big piece of cake. Joy, I like you already. 
I still have some in the refrigerator. I'm still celebrating. Joy, do me a favor, Joy. You have my permission. Go to the fridge. Get that big piece of cake out that you still got some piece of. And let's uh, let's enjoy that piece of cake right now because you deserve some of that. All right? Had one pert formula. Maybe everybody's getting the same damn pert question. All right, but thank you for that. Nabil says, hello, Andrew. I passed my exam. <coughs> Above target, uh, all domains last week. Congratulations, 100% score on it. Thank you for your course, especially the mindset. Celebrated well as well, but how'd you celebrate? You have to let me know. I'm interested to know how you celebrated. Congratulations on that. And you know what? Make sure you continue celebrating. For everybody that's passed so far, celebration is not a one-time thing. Celebration is a many-time thing. All right, Jalen, back again. I think you had something to do with a job, if I remember from you last week. What's happening, the PMP GOAT? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm doing this assessment for a project policy coordinator position for a nonprofit. Did well after two interviews, but it's not a true PM role, which kind of sucks. No worry, Jalen. If you don't have the correct experience and you have to start somewhere, just start. All right, not doing anything, not starting, not working, you know, is, is not is, is, is not good. Start here. If you can get this project policy coordinator, start there. Go in. Show your work. When you go to a job, work, work, work. Show value, show value. Take on responsibilities. Every time your job gives you a job, you say yes. Don't ever go to a job and when they give you more responsibilities, ask them BS or say BS like, Am I going to get more money with that? Forget the money, Jalen. Jalen, if that's an accurate picture of you, you look young. When you're young, the most important thing for a young person is not money. It's knowledge. It's the ability to show that you can do the job. Knowledge at a young age is more important than money. Money will come with knowledge. Okay, you don't want knowledge. You don't want, you don't want money when you're young. You want knowledge. All right, to gain knowledge, gain experience, go do it. If you can get it and you're having a hard time getting it, go do it. Let me know if you agree or disagree. How about everybody in the chat? Do you guys agree You guys agree or disagree that young people, the most important for somebody under the age of 30 right now, is not about, I need to make $100,000 and drive a Lamborghini. No, it's about driving a Toyota and trying to gain as much knowledge as I can gain so I can drive that Lamborghini later. Not right now, though. Try to gain knowledge. You guys agree or disagree? Can we get a video of a project manager interview? I really have to do that, man. It's just I'm so busy. You guys don't know how much work I have to do during the day. All right, you know what? If you guys click on the, all click on the like button, maybe I'll do one for you in a couple of weeks. But you guys got to click on the like button. Come on, guys. Click on the like button. Hey, Andrew, I tried another provider, and they were terrible. Sorry to hear that. Are you teaching a live in-person class soon? You know, guys... I've always told you guys this, okay? I've always told you guys this. You know, it's not about when you're taking your PMP, all right, especially in a live training. It's not about where you take it. It's not about the name of the company. It's about who the hell is teaching it. At the end of the day, all the training providers, me included, we're basically going to use basically about the same set of content because the exam is based on the exam content outline. So we're all basically going to use, most of us anyhow, most of us good ones, are going to use the same set of stuff. It's about who is teaching it. That's what's important. Can you connect with that instructor? Can you understand that instructor? Can you follow along? Are you falling asleep? Are you actually staying engaged? Does the instructor keep you engaged? So when you get a training provider, make sure that you evaluate that. Listen, I can't be your training provider if you're living in some country that I'm not in. You're right. I'm in the United States. So when you guys are evaluating, do a lot of good work. See if you can watch a video of that trainer or something like that. It costs a lot of money to have training. And to answer your next question, uh, are you teaching a live? I am teaching a live class in Arlington, Virginia on July 10th. You can register for that class at tiapmmastermind.com. Uh, that class is actually in person and it's online. So you, you can just go there. It's really inexpensive for a live training too. 
uh, there. So you guys can check that out. Okay, Ahmed goes on to say, just no calculations, but you have to know what what mean if SPI or CPI or CPI is one, knowing the EVM form to understand the meaning. Okay, okay, so Ahmed, you kind of scared us all there by thinking that we have to memorize those formulas. Actually, all you have to do is you just have to know that SPI and CPI is, is when it's one, it's good. When it's on the one, it's bad. All right. Hey, Andrew, just cleared my PMP this weekend with all three uh, domains above target. Congratulations on that. Thanks to your books and videos. I did wear blue. Congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Let me know. Put in the box. Let me know how you celebrated. Congratulations on that. Uh, you know what? Get the books. Get the videos. Don't forget, guys. If you get the book, you do not buy the Udemy course. All right? comes with it. Get the book and simulator, guys. You will pass your exam. Well, there's a lot of folks passing today. Congratulations on that. Let me know you said. Did you get a piece of cake? Make sure to get a piece of carrot cake too, man. A lot of people getting chocolate cake nowadays. You got to stop that. Hey, Andrew Moselle from uh, St. Lucia. All right, very good. You have... No, I'm lazy. I have not created the edge. One of these days, one of these days, I'm going to clone myself and uh, I'll get it done. Andrew, can you please make a video on how to report PDUs? Joy... One of these days, I'm going to make that video just for you, Joe. I'm going to think of you and make that video. Hopefully. Jalen said, I'm still applying for the PMP position team roles, but I'm doing my best to let employers know. I have the mindset and bandwidth to lead a project and be a servant leader. Any insights? Well, what is it? I would need to see your resume. I would need to talk to you. I would need to, you would need to explain to me why I should put you in charge of leading a team. Let me tell you something. No one, in my opinion, my crazy world opinion, is going to give you the ability to lead a team if you have never done it before. Your best thing to do is to be an assistant leader to the leader or be an assistant to the leader or work on a team where you can boost yourself up and let the team know that, hey, if you think you're a leader, then lead them. All right? Which start, but they're not going to just give you that position right off the bat. No one is going to give you a leadership position until you have to prove yourself. So you need to ask and look at your resume. What on your resume says you're a leader? What in your interview says you're a leader? That's what I would look for. No one gives you stuff just like that, man. You got to prove it. I'm glad I discovered your book recently in a live session. I hope to take a class with you soon. All right, thank you, thank you. Yeah, join me in a few weeks. Hey, Andrew, I passed a year ago. Any PDUs to spare next week, VV? Oh, next week I'm not here. Next week is the 4th of July, big holiday in the United States. I will not be here next week. I will see you guys not next week. The following week, July 11th. Is it July 11th? Yeah, our next stream after this guy is going to be July 11th. Uh, I'll give you guys a free giveaway. VV, join me then. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? Everything is going all right. Did you guys click on the like button? Come on, it's like 100 of you guys. You guys have not clicked on the like button. Knowledge is gold. You guys do agree with that, see? At the age of 30, you guys got to gain knowledge. Congratulations, everyone. I can't wait to share my food news. <laughs> as soon as you pass, let us know how you do. Agree. Yes, I'm, I'm well on the 30. Thank you for the great feedback, everyone. Yes, you are. Okay, if you're well on the 30, um, then you need to gain knowledge. Get a job as soon as you could. Gain knowledge. Go into that organization and just kill it, man. Kill it. Go in there. Take on all the responsibility. Take on all the jobs. Can you please provide safe, agile training uh, to your PMP training? Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. I am well aware of safe, uh, safe agile. And, uh, you know, the whole framework of it, very interesting, very good. You got a big company. You have to follow it. Please, Andrew, I have an interview on July 17th and a project manager interview questions and answer review will be appreciated. All right, that sounds good. Did you guys click on, okay, if you guys click on the like button, maybe we'll do that video, but you guys got to click on that like button. Come on, guys. Knowledge equals six figures. Wrong. Knowledge equals unlimited figures. All right, the right, the right, you know, What's stopping you from driving that Lamborghini, guys? The right knowledge. 
Ain't that the ain't that the secret to everything? You know what's stopping me from getting that Bugatti? Knowledge. I don't have that knowledge yet. Or making that $1 billion? Knowledge. That's what it is. I wish you'd visit Dubai and get to, and get to meet you in person. Uh, Dubai sounds really hot. <laughs> it sounds really hot. I don't know if I'll ever go to Dubai. That sounds really hot. I'm trying not to go. I'm trying not to get burnt. You know what I'm saying? But Dubai has some interesting things I'd like to see. Maybe one day. Hey, Andrew, can I walk into New York City office tomorrow and get a selfie? Too late. I was in New York City today. I'm actually coming from the city today. Uh, let me know next week. Ask me again. No, next week I'm not knowing where. Maybe the following week. Come back, ask me. I'll tell you when I'm in the city. I go to the New York City, our New York City location, once or twice a week. Not the rest of this week. Hey, Andrew. I worked as a software engineer for three years. All right. I've completed your Udemy course. Do companies consider my experience for PM role in London uh, to continue to develop or to consider the racism? Wow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that. I don't even know how to answer that. Um, I don't know what to tell you on that. First of all, I don't know the racism in the, in the UK. Uh, you know, there's racism everywhere in every form of culture, right? Uh, so I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I'm completely dead. Do companies consider, listen, if you got an amazing skill and you're a dedicated, hardworking person and you go for an interview and you can't display that to them, you're not going to get the job. But if you go there and you can display that to them and they can see it and they know that you're a good person, they know race is, I don't think race is going to play into that. You should be able to get it. It's my only answer on that. And you know what? If somebody doesn't want to hire you because you're a certain race, then that person is an idiot. And hopefully they don't have their job for long. Hello, Andrew. I passed, I passed my PMP exam with three above targets. Congratulations. TIA simulator and the mindset were the difference. A big thank you. No, thank you for coming back, letting us know you passed. Congratulations on passing your exam. You know what I'm going to ask you, right? You guys know exactly what I'm about to ask this person. You celebrate well. Did you get a piece of cake? Let me know how you celebrated. Congratulations on that. Uh, wondering how I can take your classes. You mind my live classes? Just go to tiapmmastermind.com to take a live class with me. Uh, if you want, you can also go to tiedu.com for all of our live classes, not the ones that I teach, but all my good instructors does. Or there's Udemy. There's the study guide next to me. There's options. Can you guys... Joy, what's wrong with these guys? These guys don't like giving me... They, Joy, it's too much work for them to click on the the, the the like button. I mean, come on, guys. You guys see me standing here for like an hour, hour and a half for you guys. And you guys you guys can't even click on the like button for me standing here all the time for you? Come on, you guys could do that. If I can stand here and talk to you guys for an hour, you guys can at least click on that like button. All right, you okay, okay, that's what you put. Where can I get the TIA simulator? You can get the simulator at TIAexams.com. Go to TIAexams.com to get the simulator. All right, very good. I have answered everybody's question, which is great because it's not so late. And that means that we can do some questions right now. Let's take a look, guys, at some practice questions. All right, we got nine practice questions we're going to be doing here. So let's go ahead and do the nine uh, practice questions. All right, let's say, can I just use the study guide instead of the class? Yes, you could. I liked it. Uh, I also wore blue during the exam. Can you say that's an alternative to carrot cake? There isn't any. Carrot cake, chocolate cake is, is a good alternative. Andrew, what's above target and below target? So above target, 
It's the way the scoring system is. On the exam, there's three parts. There is people, process, business, environment. Each of those are ranked in four scales. Needs improvement, below target, target, and above target. Above target is the highest grade on that. I just got your book today. What is the mindset everybody's referring to? Look in the back of the book, Kathy. In the back of the book. Let us do some practice questions right now. So let's take a look, guys. You guys can keep putting your questions. I'll answer them as, when I'm finished the question. Practice question number one. After the project work, you conclude stakeholders still requesting. Reviewing new deliverables, modifying new and helping technical support. What should the project manager do to ensure operation support is handled is handled correctly? Put the answer in the box, guys. Double check the work. Finish the project closure. Find, formally release the team. Accommodate the request continuously. Put the answer in the box. Let me know what you guys got. Put the answers in the box. See, Jalen agrees. Jalen says, uh, by the way, Kathy, the mindset is in the back of the book. It's a section in the back of the book. The video course that comes with the book, don't forget to register and get the, the free e-learning course. At the end of that thing has the mindset videos. It's a, it's a section with, with um, it's called the mindset. It's like an hour worth of videos. Jalen agrees. Yes, sir. Carrot cake is definitely the, the bomb. It is. Uh, once once you all pass the PMP exam, get some good carrot cake, not the bad one. Yeah, Jim, using your PMP book, and it says updated. Can I use it? Yeah, it's the same same thing, same exam. Uh, hey, sir, is it possible to pass PMP in four weeks? Yes, put in the time and effort. Of course, it's possible to pass in four weeks. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. All right, I forgot to watch myself. Put the answers in the box. All right, what have you guys got? The answer is finished. The pro- hand off the project. That's right. Everything else here is done. Once, remember something, guys. A lot of you guys got A, but you can't come to A until the deliverable is accepted. Remember, the input to close project or phase is accepted deliverable. So that should have been done. Double check the acceptance criteria. That should have been done. You double you check the you double check the acceptance criteria before you validate the scope, not before you close it. All right. Hold up. All right. Uh, formally release the team. No, modify, ensure operations are handled correctly. You have to close off the project. Accommodate, no, this will turn it into operations. Practice question number two. Let's take a look. The project manager would like to get a detailed project management plan approved quickly from global stakeholders. He's concerned about the lengthy. What should the project manager ensure it's done on time? Meet with the stakeholders virtually and send them the plan and send the plan to all attendees to review ahead. Suggest review suggestion about the plan from individually. Accept a few stakeholders to review the specific schedule face to face meetings. Uh, put the answer in the box. Put the answer in the box. Let me know what you guys got. You guys got this? Put the answer in the box. All right, what do you guys have? We got a lot of A's in here. That is correct. So schedule, you know, I always say face-to-face is always a good option, but you got to read the thing carefully. Uh, You want to get it approved quickly. And global stakeholders, meeting with them face-to-face, you're going to fly to every country, it's probably not happening quickly. Approach a few that no one, not everyone is giving uh, inputs into it. Review suggestion, but the plan from each stakeholders will take forever. This is the best option. That's right. Uh, send it to them ahead of time and review it. 
Practice question number three. A task was not completed due to technical issues some 10 days ago that was never resolved on the Agile. What should the project manager do to prevent this in the future? During the next retrospective, examine it. In the demo, examine it. Address the next uh, iteration plan. Discuss the issue in the daily stand-up meeting. Review the issue. Put the answer in the box. Guys, make sure that when you are uh, studying, you're well hydrated. Okay, always do that. I try to drink two of these a day. Most days, I drink three. Actually, most days, I just drink two and a half, but still, three and a half. Put the answers in the box. What do you guys got? Put the answers in the box. You guys got this. Put the answer in the box. What have you guys got? Atif says, pass the PMP long time ago, but love to join your sessions. Thank you, Atif. Welcome back. Guys, could, did you guys click on that like button? Can you guys please click on that like button for me? Come on, is it that difficult? We got to, like, feed the YouTube algorithm here, all right? You got to feed the... Uh, the almighty here. All right. If there is a problem during a sprint that wasn't resolved, it should be resolved. Resolutions to issues that occurred during the sprint. You're going to want to make sure you do that in the retrospective, not in the demo. Demo one is looking for issues that the customer may have. Iteration plan and discuss what will get done in the next iteration. The daily stand-up meeting is reviewing the issues. Yeah, that is correct. But it says it is never resolved on the Agile project. What should a project manager do, number four, to improve cultural sensitivity in leading a global agile project that has a diversified team from different countries? Ask a sponsor to have more cultural training. Personally visit the workplaces to get a sense of the to get a sense of workplace environment. Allocate extra time in your schedule on team members to study the appropriate cultures. Be knowledgeable of local customs. Focus on flexibility when working with international team members. Good. All right. Somebody says, Cobra One says, hey, Andrew, it's Marcus. Come on, man. You think I remember people's name? You know how many thousands or 15,000 students a month I, I go through? I'm the student that studied and passed within two and a half weeks. Hey, congratulations. That's pretty good. Two and a half weeks. You can't go wrong, man. Two and a half weeks is amazing. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Dos says A or C. Well, what if you're wrong? <laughs> I like that. I like how you just choose. Well, unfortunately, on the exam, you're not going to get two choices. You want to choose the one that's more inclusive. You want to choose the one that's more servant leadership, the one that doesn't create burden. Never go to the sponsor. You don't know the mindset there, buddy. Somebody said, hey, no, 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 never go to the sponsor. Personally, visit the workplace. This will take forever. Allocate extra time. You're delaying the project now. The best thing is for you to learn local customs. Be proactive about it before going into the project. Practice question number five. The Agile project is experienced delays. You discovered that the problem is some resources spend too much time on tasks that doesn't add any function, and others complete, other complete tasks are too slow. How can the project manager enhance the team performance? Have the team collaboratively work with the sponsor and address the weakness? Replace any resources that isn't meeting project requirements. Begin training when necessary and prepare a checklist. Design and conduct training personally as necessary using the subject matter expertise. Put the answer in the box. Yes, sir. We're blue and good luck celebrated with cheese ah, cheesecake, man. What did I tell you guys? You remember me telling you guys that cheesecake is not cake. It's spoiled milk. Why do you eat cheesecake? You know what they do? They spoil milk, they turn it into cheese, and you're basically eating a block of cheese with sugar. Think about this. What is cheese? Cheesecake is it's cream cheese with sugar, okay? In that case, you might as well just eat cream cheese. Maybe some cream cheese and a bagel or something like that, but cheesecake, the worst thing ever made. Cheesecake is like is like an abomination. <laughs> it, shouldn't, it shouldn't just, it shouldn't exist. 
No, I am lactose intolerant. I, I, re I guess I really just haven't had a good cheesecake because I can't eat it, but still. If me and my husband take your ITIL course, is there a discount? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Because remember, they come with the voucher. We make very low margins on that class because of we have to purchase the voucher ourselves. Guys, don't forget, guys. Remember, anytime you hear the word cheesecake, think fake cake. All right, think that. It's not real. Cheesecake. Guys, guys, put the answer in the box. Put the answers in the box. You guys got a lot of C's. That is the answer. That's right. So it says here, summary spent too much time on test. If all this complete, how should the project manager increase their performance? Have the team work together with sponsor that's passing off your problem. Don't fire anyone. Is be design and conduct. You can't do the training yourself, as you should use subject matter experts. All right. Anytime it's, you know, it says they can't do the task. But remember something. The project manager doesn't have the knowledge to conduct an expert, subject matter expertise training. That's where it gives it off. Help them, guys. Help them. Number six. New members are added to your hybrid project team for ongoing project. New members lack basic training about the overall business environment. How to train is that? How should a project manager handle the situation? Have new members ask for help from the... Ask for help from other members. Remove new resources and work with the HR. Adjust the schedule to allocate time. Work with the original team members to train the new members. Put the answers in the box. Those are the cheesecake version. It's not, it's not hilarious. It's true. Cheesecake is spoiled milk. It's basically cream cheese with sugar. I mean, come on. It's not cake. A lot of cream cheese, a lot of cheesecake don't even have cake. It's literally just a cheese. <laughs> like... Cheesecake is not cake. They should call it cheese block. That's what it is, right? It's cheese block. Cheesecake. Come on, guys. No cheesecake. <laughs> See for cheesecake. Put the answers in the box. Let me know what you guys got. Put the answers in the box. And the answer is D. All right, let's see. Have the new members ask for help. You're giving away the problem. Remember, mindset. If the, the choice seems like you're just giving away the problem, okay, are you solving? You know, ask yourself this question. Am I solving the problem or is someone else? Let's talk about this some more. So when you're taking your PMP exam and you come to choices, okay, if one of the choices is about giving away the problem, in other words, ask yourself the question, is the problem going to be confronted and fixed by me or do am I giving it to someone else? Am I telling them to go somewhere else? Go to the sponsor or go to the, the PMO. That's not the damn choice. The choice is going to be something where you confront the problem, address the problem, and fix the problem. Find the root cause of the problem before taking an action against it. That's what you need to know for your exam. So, obviously, A, I just told you, is not right. Never fire people. All right? So, we know that already. Adjust the schedule. Adjusting the schedule. Well, if you do that, even this is a hybrid project. And because it's a hybrid project, that may require a change request. Remember, hybrid projects has change requests because it technically contains traditional methods. So, definitely not. Work with the original team members and train the new members. Yes. You can't do the, techni the technical uh, training. So you can work with them to help to get it done. Now you're addressing and fixing it. Best of those choices. Practice question number seven. Guys, project team is analyzing the progress. We got CPI is 0.9. SPI is 1.4. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. What two choices is correct. Cheesecake is one of the ITTOs, man. Cheesecake, you guys got to take that one out your mind. All right, no more, no more talk of this horrendous abomination known as cheesecake. Cheesecake. Put the answers in the box. What you guys got? 
Put the answers in the box. All right, we got a lot of A's and D's. That is correct. A's and D's. The project is over budget. Remember, CPI, one and greater, on the budget, on the one, over budget. SPI, one and greater, uh, ahead of schedule, on the less than one, over schedule. All right. Correct. Number eight, an organization moving from predictive to agile project management methods and have assigned the product owner to the role of one of the stakeholders. The new product owner is refusing to prioritize. What should the project manager do next to fix this? Prioritize it. Tax the team. Educate the product owner. Schedule a meeting. This is in the mindset. Uh, it's in the mindset. Remember that. <laughs> Career says, I didn't realize how disturbing my celebration Disrupting my celebration dessert would have been. No, 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 it's not disrupting. I'm just putting, you know, I'm telling you what the facts. Okay, facts. What I'm telling you about cheesecake is a fact. It's not, it's spoiled milk. It doesn't have any cake in it. It's literally a block of cheese. That is a fact. That is not disrupting. Okay, those are facts. Now, whether you want to accept the facts or not, that's on you. But I just gave you the facts. It's not cake. Cheesecake is not cake. Listen, I'm a very, very cake person. All right? I can talk about cake for hours. Days, probably. So, if you bring up the wrong cake, you know, I'll let you know. All right, I'm a cake connoisseur. <laughs> cake connoisseur. There you go. I'll rename my channel, Cake Connoisseur. Guys, put the answers in the box. We got C. Educate the product owner. Part of the mindset. Prioritize the product backlog. You do not do it. Part of the mindset is you educate. You become the agile advocate. Don't let the team do it. That's not their role. Schedule a meeting. <laughs> Replace. Don't fire anyone. Best answer is to educate them. Last question, guys. During a large hybrid project, the project manager informed that a complex construction cannot be completed on time with the current amount of resources. The project manager quickly contracts a contractor to complete what worst response is this? Mitigate, transfer, avoid, accept. Put the answer in the box. So what do you guys think? Should I rename the uh, my title on the channel? Cake Connoisseur. Do cake review videos. Would you guys like to see me review some cake? Let me uh, put it in the chat box. That'd be pretty cool. Andrew's Cake Reviews. I would do that. Believe me. I would definitely do cake reviews. Unfortunately, my selection of cake is very limited since it can't have too much milk in it. Definitely, we're not reviewing cheesecake. Should I be reviewing cake? What do you guys think? Put it in the chat box. Cake reviews. It's that good stuff. Cake and beer reviews. Maybe if I ever stop doing PMP, I'll turn the channel into cake and beer review. Put the answers in the box. What do you guys got? All right, it says here, uh, completed on time with the current amount, the project manager contracts a contractor. So if you're doing a contractor, what are you doing? Uh, you are transferring the risk or giving away because not a contractor is going to be facing the risks. That is correct, especially anytime you hire a third party. Always remember, avoid is to eliminate the risk. The risk is still there. Accept means to do nothing. You took an action. Mitigate is a reduction of risk, not giving it away. There, a certification for cake review training class. I should do one of those, guys. Guys, guys, I am finished with all questions, guys. Guys, we are done here. Remember, guys, next week I am not here. Next week, I'm gonna be drinking a couple of beers and a giant barbecue right around this time. So, next week, I will not be here, but July 11th, I will be back for a giveaway. Uh, so I want you guys to come back July 11th. I'll give you guys a massive giveaway. Uh, I think I'm going to have some amazing news on July 11 too. It's not just a regular giveaway. So join me. I have a new thing coming out, hopefully before July 11. I'm working on it right now. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in two weeks. Guys, 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 I want you guys, if you're taking your exam in the next seven days, 
I wish you the best of luck. For example, somebody says, hey, Andrew, I have my exam on Thursday. Wish me the best of luck. Uh, thank you. I will wish you the best of luck. The absolute best of luck. Uh, so, if you guys are taking your exam in the next seven days, I want you guys to... I wish you the best of luck. Come back, let us know in a few weeks when you pass. If you're taking your exam in more than 14 days, hey, keep studying. Look at all these people that passed. You can do it. Don't say you can't do it. You got this. And with that in mind, guys, I wish you guys the best of luck. Good luck. Have a good day, week. Have a good night, morning, day, week, weekend, month, year, decade, millennium, and century. So this is the same thing? Yeah, sounds good. We got some more. We need a project plan for smoking brisket. That must be some serious smoking. Uh, thank you for your help with the course and the mock exam. All very helpful. Help me score three above target. Congratulations on that. We're super happy to have you. Able to help you pass with the get rid of that damn cheesecake. My exam is on Friday. I wish you the best of luck. My exam is July 11th. You got this. Come back. Let us know, Richard. And I will see you guys in a few weeks. Have a good, have a good one, guys. I'm out. I'll be doing a whole bunch of videos coming out, a bunch of shorts I always have coming out. Subscribe to the channel, please, to get all the shorts. A lot of employment shorts. So if you want to boost up your resume or become a, a kill your interviews, not kill them, but do good, watch the shorts. I'm out.